Nia Alina. Today's video is going to be a wig review and it won't be on the one that I'm wearing. However, I will um, put the link and the name to this wig in the description box. So if you're interested, you can take a look at it there. This uh, review will be on Sister Sister Wigs um, Angled Line Cut, A-Line Cut wig and the style is Mika. And the color I purchased is FS4 slash 30. And here is the style card. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a curly bob. And I thought that this was so cute for the fall. And it was also within my price range. Um, I'm finishing out the semester strong, but funds are depleted <laughs> so i think this is about 25 dollars i ordered it online from wigtypes.com i will add the link and the price in the description box so you all can go and purchase it um so i'm just going to take it out of the package it came in this nice box and it also had a plastic cover that i'll keep so i can store the wig so it's like a nice rich brown chocolate color it has a few highlights it looks like at the bottom I don't know if you can see that very well it has a net around it and the packing paper to help it keep its shape and as you can see it has two combs in the front a nice amount of parting space curved parting space I should also note that there is no lace there's no lace for you to cut in the front. Um, it has one comb in the back and adjustable straps. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to show you all how I put it on, how I lay my edges, and I will be back. straight out of the box I didn't do any real manipulation to the part I didn't tweeze the part I didn't make any baby hairs I didn't try to flatten out this hump I haven't done anything I literally just put it on um, combed out the curls with a paddle brush and put a little bit of concealer right there and this is how it looks so here is the front here is the right side. Here is the left side. And here is the back. So let me talk about my opinion. <laughs> I have never done short hair before. Even my natural hair is about back length so this is different for me um i like the color i love the sides i love the back the only thing that i'm not such a big fan of is the front view because i feel like it's not full enough right here in these sections um, I also noticed that the part will definitely have to be manipulated. I'm going to have to do some plucking, tweezing to widen the part because it is very narrow. And I also have to make some baby hairs because the way that this 
lines up with my natural hairline. I don't have a lot of edges, so I'm going to have to make some baby hairs. And one of the cons that I noticed was in this section right here, straight out of the box, there were some hairs matted together like some little short hairs. And I don't know if those were supposed to be baby hairs or if that was a defect when they were adding the coloring or something. Um, the color is nice. I love the color. Very fall, very rich. And this is a, wig, a big head friendly wig. Almost every wig that I try on has to be big head friendly because my head is huge. I have an egg head. So that's very important to me. Overall, I, I do like this wig, but it, it, it needs some work. <laughs> I'm going to have to put in a little bit of work, and so I will. Um, I'll add pictures at the end after I have made changes to the part, after I've added some baby hairs, gone in and add some baby hairs with a razor and really um, try to lay it down. The only thing that I'm not probably going to be able to get over or fix is this thinness, this thinness right there. And I don't know if that's a thing with short hair or I don't know how I can, how I can change that. But other than that, I do think this is a cute wig. My homecoming's coming up, so I'll probably wear this a few times along with another wig that I'll do a review on soon. Um, but this is it. This is Mika. And she's cute. She's definitely cute. Maybe if you have, maybe it's because my face is so fat. Maybe that's why it looks so thin. Maybe if I had a thinner face, it might look a little bit better. I'm not sure. <laughs> but she's definitely a cute wig. She's def definitely cost-friendly. That's very important to me. I'm probably not going to buy anything that's more than $30 because, you know, I'm really trying to save money. But she is a cute wig. The link will be in the description box, the price. Um, and if you all have any questions, comments, any requests, anything that you all would like to see that's reasonably priced, please leave them below and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you for watching.